Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we don't give a flying for baseball. I'm your host, E, and today we're getting lost in the woods. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I'll be spoiling all of Stephen King's books, so if you haven't read them all, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. So how does The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon tie into the Stephen King universe in the Dark Tower series? Let's talk about that. I had a lot of fun with this original video and the original video for The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon and the reason for that is everyone was expecting me to have to bend over backward to tie it into the Dark Tower or the Stephen King universe but I had it unlocked from the first time that I read it because of a note that I wrote in the back of the book. The girl in the the titular girl who loved Tom Gordon comes across TR90 which is showcased in many of Stephen King's books including it's mentioned in Bag of Bones, Cell, and Under the Dome. The reason why Bag of Bones is important for TR90 is because Ralph Roberts makes an appearance in Bag of Bones. He has lunch with Mike Noonan and Ralph Roberts is from Insomnia and Insomnia ties directly back in to the Dark Tower because not only does Ralph Roberts have a hallucination of Roland Deschange, just Deschain from the Dark Tower series, but he also comes across the Crimson King. Then we have this comment from Elizabeth Robinson, 6840, who says, pretty sure the radio station she listens to is connected to another one of his books too, and some editions of the book have a thing which credits one of the songs played to Richie Records' Tozier. I have heard this multiple times. I have not been able to confirm it. It is not in the first edition of the book, so if any of you guys can find the edition that it's in, let me know down there in the comments. And then, finally, we have a wild theory coming out of Reddit. Now, this post is, uh, as of today, it's 282 days old. Um, and it's from Weak Amoeba 7... What is it? 372. And it has this to say. She finds her way out of the woods by finding one of the beams and following it. She follows the path to a diseased bear that she confronts. How does that not count as a Dark Tower connection? Now, this user is not talking to me. They're talking to someone asking if there's any connections for the girl who loved Tom Gordon to the Dark Tower series. Well, there there is the TR-90 that we've already talked about, but this one, I can't find anything to back this up. I don't even re recall the bear being diseased. Um, it might have been, but I know where they're going with this. So uh, if I if I am wrong and this is in there, then I believe what they're trying to say is that the bear that she comes across, that she ends up pitching her Walkman at, is a proto Shadrick from the wastelands, the cybernetic bear that Roland and them come across uh, in in that book at the very beginning of it. Is, is that the case? I don't know. Uh, I wish that, uh, I don't even have a Reddit, Reddit account, so I can't go and comment on this. Pat Costin, I did see you down there linking everybody to my video, and I appreciate you. But uh, I would love to, I would love to have more of a discussion about this. Um, and this video was going to be very, very short, but coming across this, I, I'm wondering if, if there's something more to it. Um, I will be researching more along the lines once I can get Patrick's uh, database to work and see if the beam is mentioned at all in there. If I do find this connection, I will make a part two to this video and put it up on the channel. But that's all the time I have for you today. Did I miss anything? Do you have any corrections of anything I said in this video? Or do you have theories you're of your own on how the girl who loved Tom Gordon ties into the Dark Tower series or the Stephen King universe, let me know down there in the comments. But until next time, take me out to the forest, help me get lost for good, listening to Walkman and traveling the beam, I don't think that bear's ever been seen. That's all I got. I'll hail the chair. That was off the dome. Yeah, your boy should have been a rapper. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no.